Hey guys, I'm Mike from Guildford Custom, based here at the world famous Guildford Harley Davidson. I'm in the thick of it today, we're in the workshop, and we're here to bring you another custom bike walk around. Today we have our good friend Terry's Lowrider S. Now you may think you have seen this bike before, and you have. This bike has been in a couple of our uh, behind the door episodes and was also in the engine performance upgrade video that we put out in January. As I said in the video, it was out for its cosmetics. This is pretty much the final stage of Terry's amazing custom journey with Guildford Harley Davidson and Guildford Custom. And we'll be bringing you a proper breakdown of that entire journey in an upcoming episode of Lind, Love the Journey where Terry will tell you himself about the whole experience and the whole thing behind the bike. Performance cruiser, front to back. I mean, this bike is literally designed to be aggressive, modern, powerful, fast. Everything is based around performance. Start at the beginning. We have these fantastic Avon Cobra tires wrapping beautifully painted gold Lowrider S wheels, following up with this carbon effect fender. As you can see, we have the Brembo brakes from a live wire on this bike and some Galfa discs, gives you some proper stopping power, which is needed, because if you watch that engine upgrades video, you will know what is at the heart of this motorcycle. We have a stage four, 131 cubic inch, 135 horsepower engine, packing a massive punching 155 foot pounds of torque. Now I've ridden this motorcycle, and to be honest, it's the most unnecessary, necessary motorcycle I've ever ridden. I mean, my God, this thing flies. Up front at the top of the forks, you have the Krauss risers with the Flymoto bars, Memphis Shades handguards, and this amazing Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing. Terry opted for the Legend cartridge kit in the front of the bike to give you know, a bit of a stiff of suspension at the front, aiding in the cornering. Rick's adjustable levers, amazing Harley Davidson grips, indicator mirrors, and we've even wired in some small LED indicators into the handguards just to give that extra presence on the road. Over to the tank. We took the tank and the console to our good friends at Image Design Custom, you guessed it. Mandir Image went with a loose brief we wanted bit of a lightning bolt, we wanted some gold to match in with the gold that we did in the motor on the wheels. So here you have this amazing matte finish paint scheme, carbon fibre detailing, gold, you've got a brilliant HD logo in there and of course, as requested by Terry, lightning bolts all round. Seating, Saddleman SDC edition, two up seat. These are amazing seats to be honest, I mean really, you know, if you're building a performance cruiser, or a performance bagger, Saddleman just, you know, they've coined the market, it just seems to be the go-to. Really, really nice finish, really sticky section in the back for the back support and on the rear pad as well, hold that passenger in, definitely need it on this bike. We have Flow Motorsport footboards, brake pedal, shifter peg and rear pegs on the bike as well. And then moving to the rear fender, your layback license plate and the LED smoke tail light that comes with the bike as standard. Just to clean up the back end, you've got the Heinz winglet indicators, mini LEDs. And then I'm sure you've all noticed this little knob just here. Olin's adjustable preload on the rear suspension. This bike is loud, obnoxiously loud. So fast, it's brilliant. I think we can all agree this Bassani 2 into 1 stainless sounds epic. Thanks for tuning in today to take a look at Terry's fantastic Lowrider S. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you get a notification every time we post a video. And we will see you next time.